Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Corinth. And for today's video, I'm going to show you how I do my hair, how I curl my hair, and the products that I use. Um, I don't have anything else to say in the intro, so let's just hop right into it. All right, so before I show you how I do my hair, I'm going to show you guys the products that I use. When I come out from the shower, I spray my hair with this one right here. It is the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. It is a UV and heat protection spray and it's also a conditioning detangling spray. So not only will it detangle your hair for you before you style it, it is also a protection for your hair when you do use heat products which we'll be doing today. I did not however use this right now because I washed this last night and I sprayed it with this one last night. So just saying. And then if I know that I'm going to be out in the sun for that day after I wash my hair, I will go ahead and use this product right here. It is the Aveda, Aveda? Aveda Smooth Infusion Style Prep Smoother. It defends against humidity for up to 12 hours and it says it can like give you volume, I believe. So I apply this on my damp hair. So yeah, uh, this one too, you apply this on your damp hair. I apply this on my damp hair, just spread it everywhere. And then the hair dryer that my husband and I use is this one. It is the Revlon Ionic hair dryer. Nothing special. This like we always go for the cheapest one. The cheapest but good one. And I think we got this at Walmart, so this is what we use to dry our hair. My husband uses this more than I do. So yeah and so once my hair is completely dry which usually takes me 15 minutes like i have thick hair and i don't know it's just a pain but once my hair is completely dry i go ahead and start curling my hair and the one that i am using currently is this one right here it is from conair and it is the infinity pro conair it looks like this of course, I had to pick out the one that has a color closest to the color pink. So the size of the barrel is one and one fourth inch. So it's pretty thick and it has the clamp right here. And what I like about this is that this rolls, I mean, it twists, rolls. It twists around so when I do like curl my hair, it doesn't get tangled up, you know? That's annoying. Anyway, so I turn this on and then I go to the 360 Fahrenheit heat and then I curl my hair. I rarely do this by the way because I'm always in a rush. So usually I just take random pieces of hair and curl it. But if we were to do this properly, you would want to do it in sections. So you're gonna want to do the lower parts first and then the middle part and then the top part, you know. And if you have a hair clip, that's really good good for you but I don't so I'm just gonna use my my hair tie and we are just going to section up this hair and I just make a, a bun this is my hair right now so yeah my hair is naturally straight and it is very fine but it is kind of thick so just so you have an idea on what kind of hair I have I have that straight Filipina hair <laughs> Anyway, so now that we have that lower part going on, I'm gonna show you how I curl my hair. So in the bottom parts, I don't really care if it's like messy or not. So when I curl the hairs closer to my face, I make sure that the clamp is on top. As you can see, it's like right on top. Because if the clamp is on top, I know that the curls will go outward instead of inward. So I do that when I curl the hairs closer to my face. So this is what I do. Well, watch closely. So I open up the clamp. Ooh, this is hard. So I open it up like that, close it, and then I twist it like that. Hold it there for a few seconds. I just leave that part out a little bit, and then I let go. That's how I get my loose, my loose curls. So if you want to get like a beachy wave, you want to do this in like the same direction so always with the clamp up but if you are after like super volumized hair you want to do your curls opposite ways 
so then they don't curl up together and then you, you just have more body and volume so for that I'm going to do the clamp down now as you can see so you just again clamp it but this time you're gonna have to curl it inward you see so just make one curl like that again hold it there for a few seconds making sure that the top is out I mean the ends are out and then just let go and I'm going to probably do alternate so now I'm going top again clamp roll it I mean twist it hold it in there for a few seconds and then let go now I'm doing down clamp make a twist leaving the ends out and then let go top twist let go now we're doing down so thumb clamp twist it hold making sure the ends are out and then I let go so I'm doing top twist down clamp inward hold So for the front parts, I just do outward curls. And every time I twist it, kind of open it a little bit, just so it doesn't pull my hair. Now that we pretty much curled the bottom, we are going to let loose some of this hair and start curling. I think this is like the more important parts because these are the, the hairs that are actually gonna show up because the bottom ones you know they're just there hiding underneath it's gonna add volume to your hair but they don't really show up but now is like you can really see these curls so you have to be more precise about it so we're just still doing the same process so the pieces closer to your face curl outwards so and now that that pieces are a little longer, so I just hold it up here first. And then I move down here. And then still curling it. Making sure that the, the ends are still out. And then I let go. And then you're going to have this type of curl. Also, the longer you leave the hair curler in your hair, the more, the more curly your hair is going to be. So the less heat the the less curl if that makes sense <laughs> okay so down i'm sure by now you kind of like got it so i'm pressing it when i'm curling so it doesn't pull my hair hold it in the top first just because the pieces over here are longer and then i move down and then you let go and then you get this kind of curl so just keep picking up pieces, do alternate stuff to it. Down. Curl inward. Slide it down. Let go. Thinner pieces, if you curl them, don't leave the hair curler for too long because you don't want to be those girls that burn their hair curling their hair. But 
I don't know, I really like curling smaller pieces than large ones because you get more defined curls rather than the large pieces. Okay, outward in this area. Already, already. Let's just keep moving forward. So I'm gonna do one half first, like this half. That looks funny, but it's okay. And sometimes I like to mix in my bangs just so it has that nice open hairstyle going on. And again, this side, outward. It's just the style that I really like for my face. So I'm keeping the curls a little bit higher, as you can see. But always remembering to keep that end out. See, now it kind of like gives that nice wave up here. Since this piece is still a little bit in the front part of my face, I'm still going to curl this outward. Okay, now we can go alternate again. Up. Down. I really think this process is so much easier than putting all your hair inside like that. So I like having the clamp because it just makes things so much easier because you can just twist. Right? And then just go down here. Mm, I just like it. I really like it. Oh, and if you recurl pieces that you've already curled before, that's okay. <laughs> Let's do this side. Oh yeah, ever since I got the bangs, my part has been in the middle, which I'm not really mad about. I was never into hair until I met my friend Angela. She is a hairstylist and she did this hair color on me. And I just love how my hair looks right now. And yeah, so she's been providing me with like hair care stuff. Even the, the spray that I will be showing you in a bit, it's a texturizing spray that is just amazing. If you want that extra grit in your hair without feeling dirty, and it smells so good. I don't know. I really love doing hair now. It's just sometimes it takes too much time. And right now my eye is hurting. It's like it's giving me a headache from looking too like like side eye. <laughs> but I love the end result all the time. Almost done. Almost done. Since these pieces are all close to my face, I will be doing outward curls. And it's okay if it looks a little messy. That's what you want. Because it's summer, <laughs> beach waves. There it is. And then sometimes. I like to take these bangs in the front and just give it a nice, I don't know, something. We are just going to curl these outward because this doesn't look good right now. My bangs are looking a little crazy, but that's it for the curls. Um, you can always go back to like pieces that you think need more definition. But I like that they're not uniform curls. 
Anyway, so for the next step, I go in with this product that I was talking to you guys about. It is a texturizing spray from Oribe. It's just called Dry Texturizing Spray. And what I do, I just shake this and then I just spray this on my hair. On the end, up here, and down here. And make sure I kind of open up my hair. And then you start scrunching up your hair. I am not going to brush through the curls, but I am just going to crunch it up. And now you see it's like my hair is big. <laughs> and that is how I do my hair, guys. How do you like it? <laughs> so this is how it looks like. And this is how it looks like in the front. The messier, the grittier, the better. <laughs> so that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, be sure to check out the description box because I will be linking all of the products that I talked to you guys about. Just in case you guys want to try the stuff that I use for myself. And yeah. It's always different. Every time I do my hair, it's always different. So just experiment with the tools that you have. And you will always get different results every day. So... It's always gonna look good either way. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and if you found this helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.